Hey guys, Ray from LoveYourRV.com and I'm back with my review of the Easy Snap window shades that I installed a few weeks ago. We've been using them now for uh, 15 days or so. Um, just to refresh your memory, they, uh, they stick on with these studs here. They use uh, 3M very high bond to stick to the, the side of the RV and then they have the, these snaps so there's a pin that goes through the mesh material and a cap that goes on the other side and they simply snap in place like that. So if you want to want to if you missed the install, I'll leave a link in the in the description below so you can go check that out. I had enough material to do my back window here and both of my uh, slide windows and the piece is about 7 feet by 6 feet. So I haven't had enough to do. I could buy more and do the side windows here. So let's go in and give you a look at uh, what it looks like looking out through the screen. They do provide quite a bit of privacy, especially when it's light out. Once it's dark though, that you can see inside, so you'd have to use your inside uh, nighttime shades as well. But uh, during the day, they offer quite a bit of privacy for people inside the rig. Okay, there we go. That's looking out through that rear screen. And we'll just go to the side windows to get a kind of a comparison versus your normal day shades. Let me just draw the the nighttime shades and we'll compare with those. Okay, next what I'm going to do is I'll go and uh, split that rear window in half so you can see the difference between the shade and a, and a totally clear window. There we go. Not perfect. That gives you an idea. Next I'm going to go through and do a few tests for you. Um, I'll compare the light levels that come in through the, the blinds versus no blinds versus the, the pull down blinds and I'll also uh, check the temperatures. See what kind of a temperature blocking capability it has versus no blind or my just regular pull down interior blinds that I have versus the, the foil that I put in the windows. Then after that I'll go through some uh, likes and dislikes. Well this will be pretty unscientific but I downloaded an app for my phone that gives light levels so we'll try with my normal procedure when it's really sunny. I put a foil in the window so we've got around 24, 25 LX on the light meter there. And that's with the old foil in there. 
So let's pull the foil off and see what it is with the, the new screen. The new screen, we're looking at eh, right around 25, 26. A little bit of clouds up there, but definitely a ton more light than, of course, blocking it. Okay, so full sun streaming in. Got around 16, 15, 16,000. Let's try pulling the day shades. Seven, ninety-eight hundred, ninety-five, and we'll pull the night shades. Oh, that dropped it a lot. Twelve hundred. Okay, next let's let's do some very unscientific temperature tests. So I've got myself a infrared temperature gun here. Um, I've left the window clear without the shade on it and we've had full sun on it for about a half an hour with the, just with the, the nightshade pulled down. So I'm not measuring right at the window where it can make weird readings. So we'll just take a, a scan of what the, the shade temperature is. Let's see if we can see here. Pretty bright for the camera. So we're looking about uh, 114, 113, 114, 115. That's the temperature the, the shades reached. So now what I'll do is I'll go put the the shade back on. So we put the easy snap uh, exterior shade on and let her set out there around a half an hour. And you can see it's uh, made quite the change in temperature versus the inside shade only. Around 90 degrees. And in the trailer right now, we're about uh, 78 degrees ambient temperature. Now let me put the, the old method I used with the, with the foil reflective foil in there and we'll compare. Okay, the foil's been in there around a half an hour or so, so we'll take another measurement here. And we got about 95, 94. So it's uh, pretty close between the, the Easy Snap shades and the, the foil I've been using, which is what I've kind of experienced using it for the last two weeks they're pretty equal. Well, let's go through the pros and cons here for the Easy Snap RV window shade. Uh, let's start with the good. First good is easy to install and easy to custom size to your window. Um, if you saw my install video, it's very straightforward. I don't need very many tools at all, so that's definitely a plus. Uh, second I didn't have to drill any holes or make any screw holes in the RV sidewalls. That's definitely a bonus. So I don't have to worry about uh, leak management or anything like that or uh, hardware rusting out. It's all plastic. Um, next, it provides excellent privacy. Uh, once the shades are on and, and it's fairly bright and sunny out, it's, you can't see much of what's going on inside the RV. Kind of like the tinted windows. Are really good at that um, versus your normal uh, privacy shades there they, they're white so you can kind of see through them a little easier um, next the shades are lightweight and easy to store so that's that's uh, kind of versus doing awnings you start putting awnings on the rig and and the hardware and stuff can get fairly heavy um, and if you're taking stuff off um, they can be hard to store um, these these are so lightweight and they just roll up so I'll just store mine up in the front 
compartment of the fifth wheel up high. I have a couple hangers that I, I put uh, use for pool noodles and stuff like that. So that should be no problem there. And to do with that is also that they're removable. So, you know, versus uh, tint, say, say you're going to tint your windows. Well, if you tint your windows, you're kind of stuck with whatever darkness the, the tint is. You can't really remove tint, whereas these you can take them off and not use them if you don't want to. Um, they're also pretty attractive looking outside, the way they, they kind of flush fit against the sidewall of the RV and the dark color, I think it, it looks pretty snazzy. Um, they're simple to clean. I had a few instance, instances of uh, some uh, seagull poop on them and uh, some dust in that and all I had to do was a little soft brush and hose them off and they came back really good because they're kind of uh, the screen is covered in in kind of a plastic material so they clean up pretty quick and finally with the good they're relatively inexpensive so the the, the amount I bought there covered a big window and two small windows and I think it goes about $139 or so so I think if I spent about 300 maybe 400 I would have the whole rig covered if I wanted to go that way so let's continue on to the bad okay first th these are things we didn't like more from Ann than me um, but one definite problem we had is it's hard to see clearly out of out when close to the blind so if I'm sitting on my computer desk here or Anne's in her chair and we're looking out into the the in the morning time say we like to get up and have coffee and we want to look out the window and watch the the birds out there wildlife or whatever um, you're so close to the screen you get that screen door effect and it's really annoying to look out so that was a definite negative. Um, I sort of got around that um, by uh, not doing up as many snaps. Um, I found I only had to do up uh, maybe seven or eight snaps, especially along the top. So uh, I'll show you here in a video of me um, undoing the snaps in the morning um, early on and then later as the sun comes around I can pop out and uh, and I'll show you me putting the snaps back on so you can see from the the videos it's not really a difficult procedure and it's kinda in line with what we had to do with the the foil that we were putting in the windows before so we would before we would have to put the foil in at a certain time of day and then pull it out at a certain time of day but uh, definitely that's a problem if you're sitting close to the blind it really bothers you to look out. The further back you get from the blind, it's no problem. You don't see that screen door effect. And the next problem, darker than our regular RV white day shades. Um, Anne really likes the RV to be nice and bright when she wakes up in the morning. We're kind of opposites. She loves it really bright. First thing she does is throw open all the shades and get as much light in as possible. I kind of was more like a, like living in a little cave, so I actually like the screens myself, but um, definitely that's that might be a, a, a negative to some people or a positive to some people, just depending on your personal preferences that way. Uh, another one is the annoying Moyer pattern. I think that's how you say it, but it's like when you, on our, on our RV screens, we have screens for the bugs. And when you put this screen in front of the screen, I'll just give you a little video footage of it. It makes the strangest pattern on the window and it can kind of be annoying. I guess we could get used to it, but at first it's really distracting. And of course, they can be kind of tedious to pull off and reattach every day if required. Let's say you, you really wanted to be pulling off three or four of them every day. There's a lot of little snaps that could you'd have to get up on a ladder. I'm kind of lucky on my on my rig where I'm backed in. I have a pull-out tailgate so I pulled the tail like it's a bike rack and I pulled it out so I could just stand on it but if you had to pull out a ladder and and be going up a ladder to, to undo all those little snaps with the special uh, snap tool and then and then later in the day you have to go reattach them that could get kind of tedious so that's that could be considered a negative as well. 
Well, in conclusion, you can see there was a lot of good things about these uh, Easy Snap shades, and then a few definite drawbacks. Uh, number one being, if you're close to them, you don't get a great view out. Um, that was my biggest um, con to them, and of course, and didn't like how dark they were in the mornings. I'm sure glad I tried them rather than going ahead and maybe getting tint for the windows because uh, I'm sure if I had tinted the windows dark or maybe put reflective tint on the windows uh, it would have been a no-go for Anne and I would end up having to scrape that tint off so I'm, I'm really glad I was able to try these uh, these shades on the outside since they're removable. Um, I think we'll, we'll continue using this. I really like being able to see out during the afternoon time and I don't mind uh, popping them on and off in the morning. Um, when we travel it's nice that I'll be able to roll them up and put them in the in the basement. Uh, one thing I didn't mention is in the winter um, that's one thing where I don't want shades. Um, when we're down in the desert enjoying the desert sunshine a lot of times it's it's uh, it's not that uh, warm out you actually want that sun streaming in to heat up the rig to save on propane so you know if people tint their windows they're blocking a lot of that nice warmth that might come in at least with these shades I have an option either to take them off or put them on if need be um, the other method of uh, of shading your windows is, is of course a canopy or an awning but uh, the drawbacks to that uh, is you're going to have to probably mount some hardware on on the side or back of the rig um, on something like this the back window it's pretty flimsy the back side the back wall there so I don't know if I it'd be pretty difficult to put an awning on there and of course there's wind when we get down in the in the desert or on the coast we get big winds and uh, I'd be afraid of the awning blowing right off half the time I wouldn't be able to use it uh, I found these uh, the, these shades very uh, very durable in the wind. The wind didn't seem to affect them because they, they sit so flat to the window. Um, most of the time I didn't use need to use all my snaps. Like, like I have snaps, must be 20 or 30 snaps. I only really need to do up about a quarter of them to, to have it sit there properly. So Anyway, I hope you found that review informative. Uh, I'm going to write the review down as a blog post too, so I'll put a link in the, the description below if you want to go check that out. Until next time, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Thanks very much for watching all my videos. Really appreciate it. Take it easy. Cheers.